Hey guys, welcome to another video. This week, I've been spending a lot of time getting to grips with MAME on my Windows 10 build on my laptop. So this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I've been doing and maybe some plans for the future. So stay tuned. Now I have been emulating before, like for quite a few years using RetroArch and I've always had a bit of hit and miss uh, with emulating arcade games. And I think it's because I've been doing one pretty much a schoolboy error, which I only really figured out um, in the last week. So I didn't realize that each version of MAME has a version of the ROM set that you should ideally use with it. And then those work together um, and then most of the games play. What I've been doing in the past was just downloading individual games and trying to get them running through RetroArch. So you can see here I've got uh, one of the games running and I've done a couple of extra things as well. I got a reference set for the ROMs about a year out of date. I got the 0.193, I think. I downloaded that and I used, uh, I'm using LaunchBox as a front end, which is really nice. Downloads all the metadata, downloads all the images for all the games. And I also am using main UI as the actual emulator behind it. Now, I got all of these tips off of an ETA Prime video, so I'm not gonna go into how you do it. I'll just link to those videos down in the description, but it was very easy. Once I got the correct ROM set, and I got LaunchBox, and I got main UI all running, then it's been really easy to get this, this uh, going. Now, the reason why I'm doing a lot of this is because there was the Arcade 1UP machine has come out in the US, which got a uh, final fight on there. Now I don't think the arcade one-up machines are gonna be coming to Australia. So I thought, right, I want to see if I can play it some other way. Um, using LaunchBox is really super simple. There's also um, a paid version. So this one is free. So you can see here, I can scroll through. I've got all of the image art and things like that. I've got Metal Slug. Let's see if I can get one of these ones going. So it's just very easy, just double click and it loads up. And I've been really enjoying a lot of these um, shoot 'em ups as well on here. Now the other thing that I did was I went on to GitHub and downloaded uh, an application called uh, The Bezel Project. And you can see here what it does is it puts a bit of artwork on each side of the game, plus a CRT monitor type buzzer around the, uh, the actual image. It just adds a little bit, just makes it look a little bit nicer. Now, why am I doing all of this? Well, like I said, I was thinking about getting one of those arcade one of arcade machines. And this was a bit of a test to see what it would be like if I was to get a full ROM set and see if I could get this working. Because two ideas that I might have, one is to create or build a MAME arcade machine, which would be running off of a PC. So something like this. And actually last week at work, they were giving away some old desktops. So I picked up this one which is a Dell Optiplex 390. It's a i3, it doesn't come with a hard drive, so I would, I've bought a hard drive and I'm waiting for that to arrive in the post. So once that comes in, I'll install Windows 10, transfer all of these ROMs and this build of LaunchBox and the emulator onto that, and then that could be used as the basis of a main arcade machine. Now you can either build or buy flat pack arcade machine kits, I've been looking into those, they're about $500 Australian, so um, I'm not too sure if I wanna go that way. Otherwise, the second option that I could have is to buy an existing CRT arcade machine, which would be probably my preference, because then it would have the CRT instead of an LCD. And then I was thinking, if it came with a jammer board in that original arcade machine, then to get a Raspberry Pi, and you can get a jammer to Raspberry Pi converter, and then that would be quite cool, because then I'd have a, a real arcade machine that can do either jammer boards or Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go either of these ways. I need to measure out and negotiate with my wife to see if there's enough space in the house, or maybe even put it in the garage. So far, this last week or two, because I've been playing a lot of these arcade shooters and I've been really enjoying them, I'm thinking if I had a, the correct controls, it would be really cool. I also, the third option I guess that I do have is I could just go out and get one of these kind of arcade tank sticks, which is like kind of the, the big control USB, the big control deck, which has the two controls and the buttons and it just connects with USB. Could get one of those, but they're also like two, $300. So I'm almost thinking it's worth just buying a proper arcade machine rather than go that way. And I'll put all the links to all the, the tutorials that I follow because this is super easy to get running. And you can even put in like CRT uh, filters even on the game so it looks a little bit more 
um, authentic. Anyway, that's what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. Not too much retro PC stuff, but more retro arcades. Kind of same kind of era, so I think that still counts. I'll talk to you in the next one. Tell me in the comments if you've got MAME set up or any other emulators, um, or what even maybe your favorite arcade games were from back then. Catch you later.